Hi everyone! So just recently I've had a lot of girls email me and tell me as much as that they love my tutorials, they just want to learn the very basics of makeup. So I thought I would create a series and I'm calling it The Basics where I just teach you the very very basic essentials that you might need to learn for makeup application and this will include everything from foundation to concealer to blush to mascara to lipstick to basic eyeshadows stuff like that so today I just did my concealer and my foundation I talked about the product that I love to use the most and how I apply it I really show you that all in very much detail so if you want to learn how to do foundations um, the foundation basics then keep watching so the very first thing you want to remember is to make sure that your face is nice and moisturized I've already did that that's just gonna be like the primer for our face and it's really gonna make the foundation the concealer really last and stay put so for my color for my concealer I'm gonna be using NC 25 by Mac and this is a pro longwear concealer now if you notice that this is this concealer is a lot lighter than my face I'll actually just put it on my face so you guys can see what I'm talking about this is like a lot lighter than my actual skin tone do you see that even if I try to blend it out it's still very light well the, where I like to use this concealer is strictly under my eyes like so so I just like to just press it on just around the area where I know I have a lot of darkness And I need a little bit more because I didn't put enough. Um, and then we're going to blend this out. So you just want to focus your light color concealer underneath your eyes and wherever else you might have darkness. Some people have darkness around their mouth. Like I know I have darkness around my mouth. So I must always will take my concealer right under around my mouth. And then I also have some darkness on the side of my face, so I'm just actually stealing some from under my eye because now I put too much and putting it there. So if you guys also notice, this is like a pinky base concealer. I know I look beautiful right now like this. This is a pinky um, slash, no, not slash. It's a pinky base concealer. I can't talk, sorry. So you want to just use that to cover up all the darkness because that's really going to take away the darkness. If you use like a yellow base concealer, like our foundation like this, it's just going to bring the, um, the dark circles out more and it's going to make them look gray and ashy and you don't want that. So now let's just blend this out. Um, I'm going to use a brush like this. You want to, you can either use your hands or you want to use a little brush like this that fits perfectly under your eyes. Uh, this is from Real Techniques. It's like eight dollars it's a wonderful brush and I love it and it fits perfectly under my eyes so I love to use this brush and I highly 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 recommend this one so you want to put it and then I like to just blend it out now I put too much concealer for this purpose of this video just so you guys can see it but normally I would not use this much so as you can see now my face looks like it's a whole different color and we don't want that so that's where the foundation is really gonna go on top of I need to blend this out fast because I was talking for too long and this almost this like dried on my face. For my foundation, I'm going to be using again the Pro Longwear and this is an NC42. This is my perfect match for my foundation. I've been using it for years and I absolutely love it. Being Indian, I have a lot of yellow undertones, so this as you can see matches me perfectly. Even though it might not look like on camera, it does in person. So, I just like to take one or two pumps I'm not using a lot like that's not a lot and then I like to use again another real techniques brush this is their uh, foundation brush and I like to just stipple it on all over my face and we're going right above the concealer because this is the true color of our skin the concealer was just to cover this is just really gonna correct this part now, I'm not going directly under my eyes because I don't want to mess up too much of my concealer, but I'm going all over the rest of my face. Now you just want to blend this out. And I like to just use, as you can see, circular motions, back and forth motions, blending it down motions, whatever works for you, just use it that way and just blend this out. You want to make sure that you really blend it so that it looks like it's part of your skin and not like a random color, you know? 
Okay guys, the foundation is all done and I actually went ahead and added a lipstick as well. In case anybody's wondering, I am wearing Little Susie by NYX. I love this lipstick. This is one of their butter lipsticks. It just feels so good on the lips. Okay, so this is the last step. This is completely optional. You don't have to do this. But I personally love to do it because I feel like it really brighten, un brightens under my eyes. And I'm using Max Prep and Prime. It looks like this. It's one of those like twisty ones. In the shade bright forecast now when i put this on you're probably gonna look it's probably gonna look like it's very light for my skin tone but when i blend it out it's beautiful so i like to just put this right under my eyes like that this is max highlighter so this is just gonna highlight and brighten under the eye area or any other part of the face where you really like to brighten for that matter you don't just have to use it under the eyes I really, to be completely honest with you, I don't really like to use it on, on the other part of my face. I strictly just like to keep it under the eyes. Sometimes I'll do like one of these, but that's not the norm for me. Normally it's just under the eye area. And I really, really love this for this summer as well. Again, I'm using that same Real Techniques contour brush. And I'm just going to blend this out. Now what your main goal here is to just make it part of your foundation so it doesn't look separate from your foundation. So I'm doing that and then just blending it back. See how it just like gives you like an awake look, like a more refreshed look? That's the look I love. Okay, and basically that's it for the foundation. Now you can actually go on top of this and add a powder. I don't have a powder with me, so I'm gonna pretend like I'm using a powder. And I just like to go all over my face with a big fluffy brush like this, again from Real Techniques. Especially under my eye area, you wanna make sure that you put powder because that's the area that tends to crease a lot more. And then I like to just blend out my foundation. This is like final blending with your powder. And I, you like to make sure I like to make sure not you <laughs> I like to make sure that my powder is not too much coverage because I feel like I've already used a lot of you know different products on my face and I don't want to add another layer where it starts to look cakey so that was it I hope that was helpful for you guys and I will talk to you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon bye